Hi, welcome back to What Jack Has Made. In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can use your WordPress menus in your Gatsby site. So at the moment, my previous website setup uses hard-coded links, which isn't really ideal for a client website or for any actual production applications. Um, in our graphical schema, we have access to our WordPress menus by going into WordPress and then menus and then looking at all of the nodes and we can see the name of the menu items, the menu item ID. Um, and we, we can get back a ton of information that we can use to generate our own menus inside of our Gatsby site. So I've gone ahead and created my header menu, which contains the same sort of information as previously, as my previous site even. Um, and to access the menu, we're gonna have to replace the hard-coded links. So here's my current setup, and you can see there's a couple of commented out links and there's some actual hard-coded links but we want to replace all of this with a system which is flexible and uses WordPress as its data source. So in order to do this, I've created two hooks. One we've already covered is use relative, which replaces the WordPress domain URL from any string. And we have a new one called use site menu data. And what use site menu data does is it creates the query that we kind of just looked at in graphical, which returns some information that we're going to use to populate our menus. So the first thing we need to do in our header component is import the two hooks. So we're going to import use relative from our particle directory yeah, hooks. And then I'm going to copy that and then use site menu data so we've got our two hooks and the first thing we need to do is get back all the um, menu data so we can do that and if we log this constant then we can have a look and see what data we're getting which we should be getting an array of the header and footer menu so within our nodes you can see we've got the footer menu and the header menu but we only need the header menu object we don't need an array of menus so we're going to use an es6 function on the array to return one of the array items so we know to look within nodes and look for the header menu slug so what we can do is we can say const header data equals menu data dot find and then for each menu we're going to see if a um, if a statement is true or not and if it's true then return that entry from the array as header data so menu dot slug equals header hyphen menu and then if we console dot log header data then when we inspect our page, we have an error, menu.find, okay, menu.data.nodes, refresh in the page, cool. So we have our nodes, which is our menus, but then we also have the actual header menu object with the menu items as nodes for us to map over in our navigation. So now that we've got this constant, we can go ahead and get rid of the logs. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this navigation and instead use header data dot nodes dot map. Let me just check. Menu items dot nodes. And what this will do is it'll give us the chance to loop over each menu item. So we'll say item, and then we'll return a link to item.url, and then we'll use the item.label as, as the text. So now when we go back to the page, we refresh. 
you can see we've got homepage, about, insights, latest work, and hire me. We are going to attach this to the end of the navigation, but for now we still need to focus on this aspect. Because the problem we currently have now is when you click on a link, it takes us, well, okay, posts work, so that's not a good example. If we go to homepage or if we go to about, you can see we've got localhost 8000, but then we've got our WordPress domain in front of the actual slug, which isn't great because we don't want an absolute URL, we want a relative one, which is the whole reason we imported our use relative hook. So you could go ahead and try and use relative within our map function, but you'll get an error doing so because you can't call hooks um, within uh, uh, like a map function like that. You can see Gatsby is giving us an error saying you can't use um, hook in a callback. You have to use it within a function. And this is one of the rules of hooks. You have to use it within your function um, or your component because you can't call it conditionally. It has to run. You can't use state within a callback. It has to be at the top of the page. The same for our custom hooks. So to get around this, I've created my own custom component called menu item. So we're going to replace this callback and instead call a component called menu item. And we're going to spread the properties of the item. And what this means is essentially if you have item.url, URL will be passed as a prop called URL. So we can uh, destructure it immediately in our component. And we are destructuring it and creating a new constant called relative link, which uses the use relative hook that we've created and then inserts that as the uh, to property. So we're getting an error. Oh, that's because I haven't closed my menu item component. And after Gatsby's gone about building the pages again, we should be in a good place. So now when we go to about, it uses the relative link instead of the absolute link and doesn't put our WordPress domain in front of it. The same for um, the homepage and about, and hire me still works. Um, so the final stage really is to put hire me on its own. And there's a couple of ways of doing it. I'm going to show you probably one of the most hacky ways. So essentially the way we're going to do it is we want to say, if this is the last item in this array, then don't render it. So to do that, we need to first get the length of the array. So we'll say, once the menu length equals the array and dot length. So we get that property. And when you're doing an ES6 map on an array, you have access to item or whatever the current item or, um, you know, object is, but you also have access to the current index. So we can say index is a second parameter. And we can say if index doesn't equal the menu length minus one, then return the menu item. Now, the reason we say minus one is because the current menu length is five, but arrays start at zero. They don't start at one. So you need to subtract one from the total length. It's kind of weird, but it's the way you have to do it. What that should do is it should remove the hire me because, because that statement isn't true when you get to the final item. And then finally, we need to actually populate the call to action on its own. So to do that, we would do, well, we'd get access to header data dot menu items dot nodes, and then we would specifically get the last item. So we'd say menu length minus one dot label. And you know, you could do this probably a bit cleaner and say const last item equals that. And then swap out the href. 
And what that should do is it should update it. Cool. And yeah, so now we have a dynamic WordPress menu which populates our Gatsby site. And you can do the same for your footer if you have a footer menu. Mine's mainly social media links which aren't expected to change anytime soon. My phone number is out of date, so I should probably update that. Um, but yeah, that's essentially it. If you want to update any of your menus now, you can do so using WordPress instead of manually hard coding a menu system.